by far the world's best longevity product. So I only do it three days a week and I do it during my fast. So you're actually amplifying the benefits of fasting through a little bit of technology. So that's the idea. This is my foundation I do of like my fasted days. So this is two grams of NAC. N-acetylcysteine is a glutathione precursor. Um, so it's cysteine and you need cysteine to make glutathione, but you also need glycine to make glutathione. The foundation of this is NAC and glycine. So NAC glycine has um, really interesting research on it. They've shown NAC glycine basically reverses half a dozen, a dozen markers of aging. Like they've got research in humans with old adults. They've shown that um, NAC glycine reverses all kinds of markers related to aging. It's kind of like you probably want to be on that if you're over a certain age. So the other thing that's in here is alpha keto glutarate. So it's got two grams of NAC, four grams of glycine, like gram levels. Then it's got two grams of alpha keto glutarate. The, the mitochondria make it, but we just make less as we get older. And alpha keto glutarate there's very compelling evidence that it is something that needs to be in the picture for anti-aging. It's very complementary to NAC glycine. So NAC glycine sort of hits on all these areas. What alpha ketoglutarate does really well is it seems to target aging in body fat. So when fat becomes insulin resistant, that basically will sink the entire ship of the body. And then the other thing that's in here is um, white willow bark. So there was a really, really interesting study that was done and they looked at like every longevity agent. They looked at metformin, they looked at rapamycin, they looked at all these longevity agents. And what they found was that like aspirin didn't just beat them all by a little bit, it beat them all by a lot. The best anti-aging thing is aspirin. And one of the reasons is there's a protein called plant extract 21 that's found in the derivative of aspirin, white willow bark, and aspirin has it too. So as we get older, the ability to manufacture the proteins that the body needs diminishes. So PE21 maintains, helps maintain proteostasis in cells. So that's a really big deal. The other thing though is when you look at like longevity and you look at like all these longevity supplements and they're all about, oh yeah, this is all you need. This is all you need. They never factor in the gut with that. The thing about longevity is if you ignore the gut immune access, you've ignored the whole picture because there, there was no real anti-aging without counting for the gut immune access. You cannot because a lot of your inflammatory issues begin in the gut. Autoimmune issues begin in the gut. All kinds of things begin in the gut because that's the largest concentration of certain types of immune cells in the body. Macrophages are in the gut. So this particular collection, every single thing in here in some way impacts the gut. It's, it's meant to do all that.